Hello there YouTube, my name is Katie and you're watching my channel Supercons where today we're going to be looking at the Japanese gaming news. First up and straight into the rumour mill is a new rumoured version of Pokemon Sun and Moon coming out on the Switch. That is right, Pokemon Stars, as it's been dubbed, is set to be due for release sometime next year. Initially it was said it was going to be planned around summer and then pushed back to end of the year. But that is pretty exciting. This is all according to Eurogamer and its various rumour sources. They've said that work has already been in progress on the Switch version of Pokemon Sun and Moon alongside the 3DS versions of the game. And that while the game will be mostly the same, taking place in the same regions, you know, having all the same characters and the same story, there is going to be higher res asset versions of all the characters. Now that is pretty exciting. I don't know about you, but I just think Pokemon is the perfect fit for the Switch is kind of a whole idea of having gaming on the go that you can then slot into your home console base and play on the big screen. For me, that is something I've been wanting to do with Pokemon games for a long, long time, alongside the Pokemon RPG, which I'm still really pushing for, that MMO. You know the one that we all want deep down inside. So that's great news for us. Obviously Nintendo and the Pokemon Company haven't commented on that at all. Why would they before it's been officially announced? But it's safe to say we can all kind of quietly get excited for that one and just enjoy Pokemon Sun and Moon as it comes out. I know you Americans are already playing it, us Europeans have to wait a couple more days. It's really difficult. Please stop sharing all of your awesome spoilers. It's, it means I'm having to hide from Twitter for a long time. I'm literally avoiding all Pokemon that I can. Keeping on trend with the Switch rumours, we now have a rumour about the price. In the UK in particular, a website has reported that game, the High Street Retailer, is going to be selling the Switch for £199.99 at launch, which is pretty damn cheap. And the Pro Controllers themselves will be RRP'd at £40 each. If we think back to the Wii U, PS4 or Xbox on launch, it's a big difference and could be the difference between the Switch selling really well or being another failure at launch. If you're a big fan of mobile gaming, you may be happy to hear that Super Mario Run is now dated for release on the 15th of November on iOS only, of course. And when it launches, it will be free to try three modes of the game and then there'll be a one-time payment of $9.99 to access unlimited all of the three modes of the game. I mean, it looks okay. I'm not really into mobile gaming, aside from handheld gaming, that is. You know, I'm, I'm not that fussed on it. Pokemon Go, for me, was you know, a trend that passed quite quickly, I think. But, you know, it, it looks like a, a fun time killer if you're on long commutes. So, you know, I'd be interested to see what your opinion is of how Nintendo's move into the mobile games. I mean, if they create an awesome Animal Crossing and Fire Emblem games, then yeah, I'm going to be all for it. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. Good news for Yakuza fans, the game, not the bunch of criminals, is coming out on demo on the PSN store on the 29th of November. So if you want to check out and play it, you can. And don't forget, if you don't have access to a Japanese PSN account, then check out my tutorial up here, which is going to show you how to set up your own Japanese PSN account. It's super easy and you don't have to really worry about anything. It's literally a step-by-step -step guide. I've been playing Japanese demos and even buying games on it using Japanese PSN credit for ages. It's really not a problem. Don't worry about it. If you're interested in getting the game when it comes out on launch, it does come out on the 8th of December in Japan and oh, it just looks so good. I don't know about you, but I love the Yakuza games and I played them on the PS2. I haven't really got into them as much since then, but maybe Yakuza 6 could be the ones to bring me back. <laughs> Who knows? So if you want to check it out, you can indeed. I will leave all the links that you need down here in the description as well. Also out on the 29th of December, of course, is the long-awaited Final Fantasy XV. Now, if you've played the Judgment demo recently, which was a Japan exclusive, you may have noticed a few bugs, like a lot of people did on Twitter. And I've got to say, when I recently played the demo as well, there were quite a few bugs. Um, not to the point of game-breaking, but niggly, niggly annoying bugs. And the director of the series, Hajime Tabasa, has come out to apologise and basically clarify that they are working really hard to fix these. A lot of them are very small bugs and it's a very big game. So I think it's safe to say we can expect a few patches come launch to kind of fix all those things that aren't quite ready for release. I don't think they're in a position to delay the game again to fix it. I think we all just need it now. I think we can't possibly wait any longer. So let's see what happens on launch. I'm personally really excited to play it. It looks awesome, it's beautiful, and I'm just really keen to give it a go. So 
fingers crossed I'll sort as many bugs out as possible and we won't have horrific crashes come launch but you know it's it's a big game right Th that happens even the witcher had bugs you know we love it but it did so thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed some of this news if you've heard anything else recently which you think needs a shout out leave it in those comments below down there and otherwise have a lovely rest of your day and i'll see you next time bye